Welcome back to my Patreon page, which is patreon.com forward slash Elliot Wave Green. I'm your host, Shaheen. Uh, as you guys know, my uh, monthly subscription fees, I have uh, made a special offer on patreon.com. I've dropped the fees, so if you want to let many of your colleagues, that's a really good chance for them to join me. In today's video, we are going to look at uh, gold and cereal, and we'll also discuss uh, euro. So we have sudden, seen a sudden drop of uh, in, the, in the price of gold and silver. So what does that mean? First of all, uh, for someone who uh, actually took profits from going along, as I mentioned, and I did indicate that the previous uh, high, which was 2070, 2075, was important, and we shall see some resistance, and that's exactly what we're seeing right now. So a couple of things right now happen here, as you guys can see from this bottom, which I was considering as we are going to be A, B, and C, and a truncated. We can clearly see a 5 wave structure, wave 1 and wave 2, wave 3 and wave 4, and wave 5. And upon with that wave 5, upon the completion of that wave 5, we can see that the we have seen a huge zigzag price action. That zigzag price action is lying on top of the previous high is finding support. So it's a higher degree price action, higher degree price action as compared to this one and this one, giving us an indication that we have completed a higher degree wave right over here, this one, which is five wave structure, and we have probably completed a higher wave degree right over here. We'll discuss about whether we have completed it or not. Couple of chances are here, first of all, that we can go sideways for many days and then come down and see another lower forming right over here. This is the one of the possibilities. Let me that uh, this is the one thing I'm looking at it. The one of the possibilities, let's say wave two is not complete. In this case, we'll go up and down uh, to form probably a higher high because of the bullish uh, structure that we have, bullish strength that we have right over here, and then we'll form a low right over here. Another possibility is that we have completed the correction right over here, uh, and we are going to go right all the way right over here. And then we'll f uh, fall back to find us in correction and then move further up. So the price action, let me get back to you. I am ex absolutely bullish for the people who are interested in gold. Today is the best chance for them to get into the long-term trend because we have seen an impulsive wave starting right from over here and we have seen correction. I also note that this correction is falling at 50% of the impulse move that we have seen and is also falling in the wave 4 of a previous degree. So all of these things are indicating that we are finding very very close to uh, finding our support in the prices and as soon as the support is complete uh, the price action in the uh, will start going up. So as said that couple of things are possible we are going to see probably the uh, even stronger price movement as we have seen right over here in next few days 6 to 8 days and then uh, we'll see we shall see correction another possibility which is not as bullish as straight away going is prices will go up right over here go beyond or probably create a double top and then fall back to create a flat correction both things are possible so in short we are bullish for next few days and we'll see at uh, the price action that where should the prices come back for a correction uh, we also need to understand that uh, as we can see that this top was high and prices went above it and then sat on top of it similarly 2075 is really important all right this is the previous high that we have seen right over here and we have seen prices uh, uh, dropped from that previous high finding support on this level so there's also chance that prices actually go right over here in next few days and then fall back on top of the previous top right over here to find a correction that'll be really interesting thing to see in short, I'm bullish on gold for next few days. Let's have a look at silver. Silver is also giving us very interesting structure. And uh, we can see already that the diagonal support that we are, we are also seeing the same behavior in silver as well, in gold as well. If you draw diagonal support right over here, you can see the prices actually came sort on, sat on off it, on top of it. As long as the price structure is concerned, we can concern, clearly see wave A, wave B, and wave C, a zigzag pattern. We can also see that this is a five wave structure, price is falling in the wave four of a previous degree. So in this case, we can see this is wave one and two, this hole is wave three, and this is wave four or an, of a higher degree, like wave one and two, three and four right over here, and five, and then this is a correction right over here. Three probably ended right over here. We also note this is the previous high of the previous swing, 
and then we can see when prices pull back they are kind of staying on top of it we are also above 50 percent of the previous impulse move giving us an indication that's even more strength in silver as compared to gold so we're definitely bullish on silver for the next few days it's going to be really interesting opportunity for people who are interested in silver silver has given us this trading opportunity uh, that we can go long for i know the fundamentals are looking like the good news are coming i really hope that the war stops in against uh, um, in between U uh, Ukraine and Russia so I really hope so but we have to look at the the pattern that is on the market now for the people who have billions and billions of dollars any pullback is definitely a very good chance to buy they know that if let's let's post the, the war stops then uh, you can see there's so much uh, inflation that's going on everything believe me i went on grocery store to do grocery with my wife everything has gone up in about 20 percent and that means everything and we can also see the prices of oil shooting up to 124 dollars a barrel uh, there is a chance uh, that there are forecasts coming for even higher prices right i'm not going to give an analysis on u.s oil last time we gave it didn't end up really good so i'm not analyzing that um, but I'm just giving us an indication that everything is going up in prices and gold is very good hedge against uh, inflation. Let's have a look, quick look on, on Euro. Uh, a lot of people are probably relieving, are relieved now. We are seeing a pullback. Initially, I was thinking a different pattern, but right now we can see what's going on in uh, gold. We can get some clue. And we can also see uh, that the structure probably is pr a corrective structure right from over here. So this structure that actually started right from over here is probably part of it is complete. We are seeing a correction and I believe that after that we'll see another swing down further. Let me have a look on our 4 hourly time frame and I can give you guys a better look. We better delete that now. So it looks to me that there is a possibility that we may go up a little because this support is important for euro right over here. So the retest is required in euro probably. And as soon as that retest is complete, there's a chance that we'll go up and down and up for sometimes. The eventually thing that the main trend would be downward. All right, for euro, we're still looking for one more uh, push downward. Uh, the question is whether this correction is complete right or, or not. So there's a chance of it that the correction is yet not complete and there's a chance that the correction will actually carry on for Q for a few days. It can actually push further down too. The point here is that the bias remains bearish on Euro. Alright, as soon as we find the support, uh, find the resistance for the price action, the correction, or the find the support for the downward uh, price movement. In that case, we are as soon as we find it, we will tend towards bearish on Euro. I wish you good luck with your trading. Have a good one and bye-bye.